pencil touches paper. Slowly, form and then substance begin to emerge. Not all drawings are art, of course, but most realistic art begins life as a drawing. And believe it or not, most people can learn to draw. Florence, where Michelangelo learned to draw as a young apprentice, long before he attained immortality in fresco and carved stone. In Florence, Seattle artist Juliet Aristides convenes her drawing class. Not wannabe Michelangelos, instead just people from all walks of life, eager to learn, committed to acquiring the basic skills they will need to inscribe their visions onto paper. Artists in the past, even the very best of them, were first and foremost craftsmen. They worked at it, they learned it. It's teachable. Anybody can learn to draw. It's a matter of time, patience, and principles. And then what they choose, what you choose to do with it, it just depends on where you want to go as an artist. One of the most useful things for a beginning artist is simply to slow down. In a 21st century, constantly on the go, many people rush to glimpse the world around them solely on the screens of digital cameras. <laughs> More like sampling than actually seeing. With drawing, it's okay to take your time. These artists were such masterful designers that it's absolutely mind-bending. They would take a simple theme, such as a circle, and play upon it everywhere. So we see it in the medallion above a doorway, and then again in the clock tower, and then spun five times into a window. You just sort of start a charcoal uh, portrait. Um, at the Florence Academy, we use a a method of drawing um, or a method of comparison called sight size. At the Florence Academy, the class watches a local artist as he painstakingly sights and measures his subject, displaying a grasp of the concepts and training that allows him to create his vision. I'm trying to kind of visually edit out information that I don't need uh, at a particular time in a drawing or a painting. Jordan Sokol works for two hours creating his drawing. He uses the sight size technique, drawing the same size as his eye sees. Here, we've compressed those two hours into a few seconds. a dramatic emergence, a vivid illustration of an artistic technique virtually unchanged since the 19th century. Surrounded by the stunning, ageless beauty of Renaissance Italy, students work hard to gain fluency and improve their technique. Even Juliet has moved to draw in the hushed vastness of Santa Croce. The drawing class journeys north to Venice, there to absorb the lessons of Venetian masters. Part of the instruction is that discipline and focus help to lay the groundwork for inspiration. Back in Florence, it is hot, but the drawing goes on. Drawing discipline is really put to the test. It's so hot. <laughs> the scene on the Ponte Vecchio gets pretty wild.
But these students have come here to draw. And to learn as much as they can about how to draw. And how to see. There's something almost spiritual uh, that you do, that you, drawing brings to you. It's uh, um, it's it's satisfying, but it's also very. Uh, uh, it can be very aggravating, but the, the, that's part of the satisfaction is uh, pursuing that. Life drawing is probably the most challenging thing that you'd ever tackle. Um, you're constantly learning and adjusting. Uh, there's so many unifying lines that you have to connect. Anybody can learn to draw. It's much like anyone can learn to write or play the piano. Not everyone will end up going on to be Joseph Conrad or Shakespeare, but everybody can enjoy and take pleasure from writing and communicating. The same thing is true with drawing. Anybody can learn the language of drawing. So this can become straighter, this can become straighter. When you learn that language, it not only helps you appreciate art more, but it helps you appreciate life and sight more. Born centuries ago in places like Florence, the language of drawing is universal. A powerful vocabulary of visual expression can be acquired anywhere. All that's really needed is pencil, paper, and the passion to learn how to draw.